Hey, David here. Let's talk about Presta valves and how do they work. So let's get into some close-ups of how does a Presta valve work. Airing it up, taking it apart, swapping it out, all that good stuff. All right, so we got our close-up of the Presta valve. Some unique things with the Presta valve. Diameter, quite a bit smaller. Really started out with road bikes with the very narrow rims. But for a mountain bike, that narrow diameter also lends for a stronger rim. Okay, we'll tape our dust cap off. Presta valves, these are really important. It's easy to damage the pin here. In fact, if you look real closely at this one, you can see it's actually bent a little bit, and I think that's my problem with this one. To use it, unscrew that cap, right? If you want to air up your tire, a little bit of a tap, and then put your pump on. A lot of the pumps, let me show you a close-up of a pump, will have two different sizes. One side's for the Schrader valve, one side's going to be for the Presta valve, smaller diameter. Again, this is a bike pump specific. That's our Presta valve, and this is our Schrader valve, okay? So we've got our Presta valve. We're taking the cap off. Remember, like we talked about, unscrewing the valve. We use our Presta valve head on our air pump, lock that on, right, and then we pump up, so that would be putting air in a Presta valve. The other thing you want, these little adapters, so this will turn or convert a Presta valve basically into a Schrader valve, so you can use that normal air pressure that you might see for a car tire. That diameter is the same as the Schrader valve housing. All right, let's dig into this some more. All right, so I've got most of the air out. I need to swap, change this tube. So take this screw off. All right, that will allow that Presta valve to collapse back into the wheel itself. You can get little tools like this. This is a stands no tube. Basically, this is a little tool that will grab onto the Presta valve. Now, you can only do this if your Presta valve has some little flats. I'll show you those flats here in a second. So, this is the valve. So if you look at real closely at this, as you depress, opens the valve up, closes. Open, close. That's why it's really important, particularly on mountain bikes, you're a lot of times running pretty low pressure. Close up that top little nut, which will hold that brass and rubber gasket shut. If you look at a Schrader valve, built quite a bit different. In fact, let me get them side by side. There's the two valves right there. Presta, Schrader. A Schrader has that pin on the top and it's actually got the spring built in. That depresses and seals against a little cup. So that is a Presta and Schrader valve. Hey, if you can subscribe, appreciate it.